What's going on YouTube? My name is Toons and welcome to an exclusive look at the new Call of Duty Infinite Warfare character customization. Alright, starting off, we have these rigs, right? These new rigs. You get three of them in the open beta. Um, sorry I didn't publish this video earlier. I did not pre-order the game. I'm actually in the open beta. Um, anyway, so we got the Warfighter, the Merc, and then Simtic. Those are the ones we get to uh, play with for free. And in just a second, I'm going to show you in-depth look. And we're starting off with the Warfighter. And I'll let the cinematics take over from here. The Warfighter is a mid-range combat rig built with flexibility and no-nonsense mentality. Wow, that was pretty badass. That's actually just one of three payloads we get. That one's called the Claw. Another one is the Combat Focus that doubles your streak points for limited time. And the other one, the third one, is the Overdrive. It grants you temporary speed boost. So far as gadgets is concerned, we have the ping, locate people beyond your map. Persistence, which is um, disabled the when you die, like you, you stop your uh, kill streak. Uh, and then another one is resupply. When you shoot somebody, you can go over their body and pick up ammo. That's really useful. I like these a lot. Uh, moving on to the next rig is the Merc. I'll let that Cinemax take over right now. That was a pretty cool payload. That's called the Steel Dragon. The other two are like a riot shield and then almost like a second set of armor like it protects you against all forms of damage probably for so long right the trace to go with that is the infusion recharge health man or arms is more ammo and the other one is like a shockwave which is a uh, like an aerial attack you jump in the air and you slam on the ground uh moving on to the next one the cinematic i'll let that cinematic take over now Now I'm predicting the majority of people are going to use this rig, the fact that it's really fast and it's got dual wield pr purposes to it for this payload. Uh, the second payload is Reaper, which is melee, and the third one is some type of, I think it's going to be like a respawn point, the rewind. Rewind your position and resupply uh, your ammunition and all that. Sorry I did not get the traits for this. It was really late when I recorded it. It's kind of a little late to go back and do it again. But moving on, we're talking about the customization of like the helmet, the chest piece, the, uh, you even have like a taunt. It's pretty cool. Uh, gestures like I guess when you kill somebody you can like do like a move like a dance move I have no idea I have looking at that later on uh, this really reminded me of Halo like all these different types of uh, gear you can put on there as far as the helmets and chest piece like I was saying there might even be like um, like a like a limited edition or legendary type thing you can unlock in the game that only a certain number of people can get for let's say like 10,000 kills or something like you know way out there um, that was really cool Moving on, we're talking about the guns, right? So far, you get the NF or sorry, NV4, which is kind of like a um, M4, I guess you would say. Uh, another one is this Burst Fire R3K. Uh, you get the KBR. A lot of these are like our guns from Modern Warfare. Like that looks like an AK to me, um, but they just kind of like futuristic, I guess. You know, that's a Volpup design right there. We already know it's a P90. Uh, so a lot of these guns we're familiar with you can see in the bottom left the stats for them So you can get a familiar with them. You have all your classics assault rifles SMGs LMG sniper rifles shotguns And then we have the classics which I think I'm scrolling over there in a minute. We have like the M1 Grand um, uh, We have like a, a shotgun. I think uh, you'll see in a second, but this so far this game is pretty cool I have some upload some gameplay footage later on today. You'll guys see that uh, as far as skins yeah, there's a lot of really nice skins. And also, you can kind of, like, upgrade your gun. So you can actually increase its damage, its accuracy, based on, like, whatever you unlocked in these care packages. So real quick, while you guys are watching me scroll through all the different guns and the handguns and gadgets and all that, um, I want to tell you real quick that a couple months ago, I did download the Titanfall 2 beta. It was really fun. It felt a lot like this game. Um, so people that are playing Titanfall and not sure about Call of Duty or vice versa... They are very similar. Uh, look up more YouTube videos about it. Ask your friends who already have the game. Do your research. 
I wouldn't just go out of my way and just buy another like similar game. You know what I'm saying? I would do some research on it. Uh, as far as like optics and attachments, they're all really similar to last year's and the year before that, which is fine, I guess. You know, uh, perks are very similar. I really like them. They're not overpowered this year. By the way, guys, if I'm scrolling way too fast for you, feel free to pause the video. There's just way too much information to cover in one video, so I'm just getting all the important information uh, that you guys care about in this one video. So just be mindful of that as I scroll along and you guys can read some of these um, perks and classes and all that. There is this one perk I want to point out. It's pinpoint, right? So when you shoot somebody, it like highlights their body. I could definitely see this in a lot of situations, I guess, where you're getting flash banged or they go back around a corner. Maybe it'll allow you to uh, see, still see their outline even though they're behind a wall or uh, just whatever happened. Like there's a lot of explosions going around and you lose uh, track of where he's at. So here we are, guys. We finally made it to the kill streaks. A lot of these are going to be like unmanned as far as like drones and UAVs and sentry turns and things like that. Lots of missiles and, and stuff. Uh, a lot of this is very similar to a couple of the years ago, the kill streaks then. Uh, some of these, I believe, will be overpowered, so be prepared for patches. Uh, some of these will definitely not even be used. Uh, pay close attention to the description below each one of them, and be mindful of how you should place them on the map. Okay, that's going to be really key in the battlefield. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Make sure you leave a like, share the video, tell your friends about it. I got more content on the way. Don't worry. I'll talk to you guys really soon.